Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to jailbreak an iPhone 3GS running the 6.1.3 firmware. Okay guys, so to do this we need, there's actually a couple of files that we need. Um, we're going to do this with the, with Red Snow. Okay, so Red Snow is uh, the application that we will we'll use to jailbreak uh, the iPhone 3GS. And we also need a couple of other files like this um, uh, six uh, Apple firmware 6.0 uh, and I'll show you where to get those. You can get the, all these files from my website so if you open up a web browser and say we're in go to Google just type in 123 my IT and then hit enter and then you should see uh, my site there which is 123 my IT you complete IT help portal click on that one that will take you to my site here. Now the first uh, file that we need, uh, if you actually hover over the iPhone menu and then you'll see iPhone firmware, click on that, that there. And then scroll down to uh, your version of firmware that we want to uh, use. Now the iPhone 3GS uh, running 6.1.3 which is this uh, firmware here, but actually the one that we want to use to jailbreak or the one that the Red Snow uses to jailbreak the 6.1.3 is actually the 6.0.0 uh, firmware. So it's this one here that you need to actually jailbreak the phone with. So iPhone uh, 2, comma, 1, and then it's uh, 6.0, and the firmware number is 10A for Alpha 403. Okay, so I've already downloaded that one to my uh, desktop. Then what you need to do is scroll back up, go to Downloads. Okay, scroll to the where it says I detected download. Download that file. Okay, this will tell you whether it's a new or old boot ROM. And I've already actually done a, an, an, another video on that, which will explain it a lot easier. And, and if you scroll down to where it says Red Snow, and you dare can download Red Snow uh, from here, or you can download it for, for the Mac as well. All right, guys, so once you have those two um, or three files there, what I'll get you to do is actually extract the Red Snow folder to your desktop. And then go into the Red Snow folder, and then you'll see the redsnow.exe file there. Now, if you're running Windows 7, you need to right click on the Red Snow, go down to properties, go up to where it says compatibility, put a tick in run this program in compatibility mode, so, and then change, uh, change it to Windows XP Service Pack 3. All right, click apply, and then OK. And then we run the red snow. All right, click yes. We want to use the red snow there. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, go into extras and then go into select IPSW. And we're going to select the file, the uh, iPhone firmware file uh, 6.0 that we downloaded from the 123MyIT website. Click open. All right, and then it says uh, the following build was identified, iPhone 2 6.0, so that firmware file that we chose, and it says it will be used for the rest of this red snow session. Okay, click OK on that. Right, now this is where it says, where it asks you if you've got a new or old boot ROM. Now don't be too worried about this because if you choose the wrong one, it means that you'll just have to do a restore, but be careful if, if you have data on your phone that you want to save. Um, you should do a backup before uh, running any of these uh, videos of mine um, and make sure you, you back up all your data. Um, and then if you do have any problems, you can always do a restore and uh, you can always um, back uh, restore the data that you've, that you've lost. And there's some videos on my website um, that would show you how to do that. Okay, so this is where the other... other um, this is where the other file comes in handy, the file I mentioned earlier. Um, if we click no, just on that for a second, and go quit. Now this iDetector.exe, 
if you run that and then what you'll need to do is put your phone into DFU mode once it's in DFU you can click on this button and it will tell you if you've got an old or new boot ROM okay now there's a video on the 123MyIT website for that which shows you how to do it um, so just uh, go to my website look up um, old new boot ROM in this search search bar at the top of the at, at the top of the uh, website I'll just show you that quickly just in here and then it will come up straight away all right so let's go back to the red snow um, just make sure that it's definitely all okay there and we'll run it again okay go back into extras select that file that we've just downloaded okay so is this newer model of the iPhone 3GS? Mine is, okay, so it is the new boot ROM and I've checked that, I've run the eye detector before and I've checked that, so I'm gonna go yes, okay. Then you need to go to back, you need to press jailbreak. All right, make sure install Cydia is, is uh, checked, hit next, right. Now, um, the next part of the video uh, I'll have to do with the, on, the, on the webcam. So I'm going to okay, switch guys, over to the so webcam now. Just now changed over uh, to the webcam so you can see. So just so you can see that there, I've opened it up and we do have the version number which is 6.1.3 and the firmware is 10B329. Uh, okay, I've just, uh, just restored this firmware just, uh, just now. Uh, so it's a clean, um, uh, totally clean uh, phone that you, or a factory reset phone that you would get from Apple. And we're going to go. We just move that window over. We're going to um, turn it off. So we're going to power it off and put it in DFU mode. And then hopefully do the first step of jailbreaking the phone. Okay. So now you can see the next button there. Is, uh, is highlighted and ready to go so we're going to hit next and we're going to hold down the power button okay and we hold down the home button it says for 10 seconds all right then we let go of the power button and we keep the home button held down okay so it says there, please wait while your build is being processed. Uploading second stage. All right, there we go. Now it says downloading jailbreak data on my phone. All right. Now it says on the red snow, the rest of this process takes place on your device. Note jailbreak is for this device is currently tethered. This means in order to make use of any jailbreak programs, you must first use the extras and then just boot button in Red Snow every time you want to reboot the device. And then it says even if you've just applied the jailbreak, you must now go back and just boot tethered. Okay. So I'll wait till this goes through. Okay, so there we go. Phone's restarted. And if you go across, we haven't got the, the city or icon there yet. Okay, so now what we need to do is go back into Red Snow, hit the back button go into just boot as it mentioned before actually before we do that go back again select IPSW make sure we select our iPhone firmware 6.0 press open the following build was identified it will be used for the rest of this red snow session okay so click OK again we get prompted for this old or, or, or new boot ROM I'm going to go yes because I've got the the newer one and then I need to click on just boot okay and it wants us to put the phone back into 
DFU mode. So we'll just do that now. Okay, and once the phone is off, we just press next on the PC, hold the power button down for three seconds, then hold the home button down for ten seconds. So you hold both the home and power button down and then you release the power button and that should put it back into DFU mode. Okay, there we go. So now it says in the red snow please wait while your build is being processed. Uploading first stage. Uploading second stage. Pineapple on the screen there. done there now, we slide it across, there we go, and now we have Cydia there, there we go guys, and it's pretty straightforward, um, if you follow the, the steps you should be able to get there, so thanks for watching, um, one tip I might add, if you're having problems where your um, phone or you're, you're getting a, an error message which says the DFU mode driver isn't installed, you can actually find it under the, um, if you go into computer, go into your disk, your C drive, go into program files, common files, Apple, and then mobile device support, and then drivers. Okay, and there's the driver for DFU mode in there. If you, if for some reason you're cable isn't work isn't uh, picking up the the phone in DFU mode then all the drivers are under that location all right guys I hope that was uh, helpful if it was uh, helpful please leave a, a thumbs up on the on the video don't forget to share it because that really helps out and don't forget to uh, click subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this of the video cheers guys bye bye